I'm gonna find you! I'm gonna find you! Yeah? I know you're in here! I will find you! What are we supposed to do now? Room service? Are you ringing? That's my money! Yeah, Chrissy. Yeah, all right, calm down, we've got it. We're just kind of stuck hiding in a hotel room. Why? Um, three, four, nine. Yeah, yeah, good idea. We'll, uh, we'll just keep our heads down here. Yeah, all right, I'll speak to you in a bit. What? We'll just, just wait here till he goes away. Yeah, you're right, that's gonna get boring. I've got an idea. Any bar. Oh. Listen, those other two are waiting downstairs. It's just us for the moment. We can sort this out, make a deal, something, anything, please. <sighs> Chrissy, this is not a good time. Oh, I know. So you've just handed over the money to a complete stranger who tricked you into thinking that he worked for Charlie? What? What have I done? I've shown you you're not the only one who can play games and that you should never, ever use my son against me. Why are you so mopey? You're single again. And yes, you gave him hives, but you left him with his feelings intact. Yeah, and what about mine? He was really mean. Why? What do you say? Do you ever find me annoying? No. Why, why did you take so long to reply to that? I didn't. He was very itchy. He was probably just lashing out. In any way, you're young, free and single, and that's good, isn't it? You had lunch yet? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I grabbed a sandwich. Look, I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, I wasn't trying oh, to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. I'm sorry. No, don't be. <laughs> I just want to... Well, like you said, just draw a line under it. I mean, it's not like me and you are quite back to normal yet, are we? Are you talking about us not having sex? <laughs> Great. Layla's been mouthing off out shit. I, I, I told her I wasn't bothered. Hang on, you've spoken to Layla about us not having sex? Well, no. no well, well, yeah, you, you, she spoke to me about it. Uh, do you know what? Could we just not do this now? Because funnily enough, I really don't want to talk about how rubbish our sex life is whilst I'm at work. Yeah. Right. Sorry. You can't do this. Do you understand? This guy is going to kill me if I don't give him that money. Shut up and listen. This is what's going to happen next. In ten minutes, you're going to call Lucky on his mobile. You're going to tell him you've been offered a job abroad. You're going to let him down gently. Tell him that you love him, but make it clear that you're leaving without seeing him and you're not going to see him anytime soon. Have you got that, Donnie? Yeah, I got it. And when I've heard from Lucky that you've done that... I will text you the room number where they're hiding with the money. You take the money, pay off your debt, what about Lachlan? I would never deny him access to his father. Do you ever breathe a word of this to him or try anything like this again? I will happily pay far more than ten grand putting a hit on you. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Ten minutes and you call him. <sighs> Do you think you'll go for it? What cocktail has whiskey, vodka, rum and elderly flower press in it? Anyway, because that is what I'm having. I thought you said Chrissy was going to get rid of him. Well, I've got to pick the kids up in two hours. Oh, well, then we've got a couple of hours in a swanky hotel room before you need to start worrying. I should have just left when I had the chance. Well, I'm pretty glad that you didn't. Seriously, thank you. I mean it. And for what it's worth, I think you look pretty hot in my mum's dress. Oh. Oh, I know, you're right. That does sound pretty weird. <sighs> now. Champagne and overpriced crisps? Chuck us those. 
There you go. Five grand for sitting round eating posh crisps. Even allowing for the fact that you're stuck in a hotel room with me. I reckon you've had worse afternoons. <laughs> I know you're still mad at me. Believe me, I understand how you feel. Oh, I know. I'm fine. I was just thinking about work. Head up. Then clearly you're working too hard. Sorry, say that again. Wait. What? When, when did this happen? So that's it then. Just like that. So you're not even gonna come and say goodbye? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. It's fine. Lucky, what's wrong? That was Dad. Apparently some mate of his in Thailand's really sick and he needs him to go and take over his bar. Looks like I'm staying here after all. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. Come here. It's fine. Lucky! Come on, then. Let's get to know each other. Twitter questions. So, how did you lose your virginity? <sighs> Here's a question. Why do you keep doing stuff like this? <laughs> Says Mrs Squeaky Clean. Yeah, all right, I know, but... You know, I just... I just thought after last time... What? When I let Donna throw herself off a car park roof, is that what you were going to say? Doesn't matter. She'd be dead by now anyway, you realise that. I'm doing this because of Donna. Because if it's taught me anything, it's that all of this life is screwed up. So you may as well make the most of what you can get. If you want something, take it. What and stuff the consequences? Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to open those nuts, then. No, that's fine. We can collect the dresses for you. It's not a bother at all. Yep, thanks for letting us know. OK, thanks. Bye. Why have you been talking to David about our sex life? Oh, please, Elise, you do come in. I'm not... Layla! At all. Someone had to say something, didn't they? I mean, the pair of you were useless. Yeah, you're his ex and his sister-in-law. So? I'm right, aren't I? I mean... You know, you're not. <sighs> no. We're not. Generally, you'd have to touch each other. Anyway, it's not him, is it? It's me. You know, since it happened, I've just... Well, you should listen to me. That is completely understandable. That's what he says as well. He's happy to wait. Do you know how awful that makes me feel? This has been all so unfair on him. You know, sometimes I think this has been worse for him and Jacob. I've been so angry and horrible. Alicia, and... look, can you just stop, please? Like, you are not going to feel bad about this, OK? Not this. Hey. You can't. I know, but I don't want to wait either. I mean, what if I never want to have sex again, Layla? I don't want to feel like this. So has that blonde nurse been back yet? Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. All oh, right, your mum's there, is she? Is that your own? Tell me I said hiya. Did you hear that? Yeah, mate, Kerry. Listen, we all miss you, you know? All oh, oh, right, sorry, yeah, yeah. Um, just, um, keep chipper, yeah? That's me, lad. So, yeah, love it. How is he? Dan. Dan, come here, man. Sweetheart. I just don't know what to say to him. Admit it. 
You are having the time of your life. Yeah, literally, it does not get better than this. I meant the bit earlier, getting one over on the bad guys, <clears throat> nearly getting caught. Oh. Yeah, getting sleezed on by some random bloke <sighs> trying to save your neck. Oh, you did well. We did. We're good at stuff like this. We're a good team. We are, because we're the same. Although, I have to say, you are pretty rubbish at fucking nuts. Oh, really? It says you. Oh. Ow! <sighs> I've got ten grand in that bag. How about me and you go to the airport and we run away? What? You said it yourself, stuff the consequences. I'm serious, forget Pete, forget the rest of them. Debbie, run away with me. In your head, does it? Me just leave everything. Family, my kids, for you. We don't have to leave, not if you don't want to. That's what you were gonna do with Donna, innit? You were gonna run away. Because that is what you do. And that is why I am with Pete, okay? Because he doesn't and he has stuck by me through everything. Who are you trying to convince, eh? Me or you? No. He is not good enough for you, Debbie, and you know it. Well, where are you going? Well, you could still be out there. Yeah, I'll take my chances. Yeah, Debbie, don't be in here. Well, it's all right. I know where they are. Just need to find the room. Mate, where's room 427? I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist, sir. You what? We only have rooms up to 400. Not even hugging. I miss his hugs, Layla. Right then, well, Alicia, do something about it. Give him a hug. See what happens. I know, but it's not just that, though, is it? I mean, what if, when we get down to it, what if, in his eyes, I've changed? He doesn't fancy me anymore. No, Alicia. David, he loves you to bits. Right, and he fancies the pants off you. Well, he would do, if you'd let him. <laughs> but look, let's face it, he's David, isn't he? So he needs to know this is what you want. Debs! Whoa, 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 whoa! Get in the air! Get it going! In the car! Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? We are not going anywhere with that money. Get rid of it now. Are you joking? There's ten grand Ross, in there. I'm telling you, they're going to chase us until they get it. Dump it! They're coming. Do it! OK, OK. Fancy letting us have a crack at your bikini lane, do you? We're a bit slow, the Savoy. Please tell me you wouldn't just ask me that if I was with a client. Of course not, man. Do you? No. Cool, well, look, if you change your mind, whatever the time of day, I'm here for you. 24-7. 24-7? Yeah, well, you know, when I'm not doing a shift at the factory or a pumper party, yeah. Bye, mate, Kerry, when did you get so keen on graft? Ali and uh, Dan need the money to visit Sean. Oh. Yeah. Dan's got enough on his plate chairing him up, so I just thought I'd try and take a bit of the financial pressure, do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, hey, look, I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm kind of finished for the day, so why don't you take a look at my toes? All right, and your bikini line as well, cos I think it's been quite no. a while. just toes. Just your toes. Mm -hmm. Either of you seen Debs? Nope. 
Maybe my relationship toxicity has rubbed off on you. Maybe she's ran off with someone. He gave his boyfriend hives and got dumped. I'm helping him through it. Thanks. Sorry about what I said before. I mean, uh, well, the last thing I want to do is put pressure on you. Yeah, I know. And look, I know how hard this is for you as oh, well. Forget about me. <laughs> That's what Layla said. No, oh, she would, wouldn't she? Sticking her nose into our sex life. She's obsessed, just because she's not getting any. Neither are we, though. No. But... It's understandable. Is it? Well, I guess... <laughs> I don't know. Never been in this situation before. Me neither. We do what you want. What you need. I don't care whether we never have sex again. Just being with you makes me the happiest man alive. We'll get through this, OK? No matter what happens, or doesn't happen. He still won't come out. Donnie's not answering his phone. Do you think this is something to do with him being beaten up? Hmm? Maybe he was running away from something. I know he had debts. I didn't want to say anything, but he asked to borrow ten grand for the house deposit in cash. You give it to him? This morning. You think that was his plan all along? I don't know. Maybe he just preferred the idea of Thailand to his son. Wouldn't be the first time he's left Lucky in the lurch. I'll speak to him. Chris. Hmm? So? Looked like it worked. Well, just promise me you're not going to work with Ross Barton again. Oh, don't worry. I can handle Ross. All right, well... I don't care what you say, I'm coming with you when you come to pay him the extra five grand. I'm not paying him five grand. I never intended to. Job's done. If he complains, I'll just threaten to tell Charlie where he lives. David, um, did you mean what you said, you know, about the whole, uh, no sex thing, I mean? You'd really do that? God, yeah. Of course. I love you. Can I have a hug? <laughs> uh, I, we haven't done this enough recently, have we? Right, listen, my dad said he'll lock up the shop, so if you don't mind, I'd like to go on a quick job before I pick Jake up. Actually, uh, I do mind. What? I want you to stay with me. <sighs> Why? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Just hurry up and divide it, will you, please? Pete's gonna be back any second. Yeah, right. And you, um, you might want to get that dry cleaned. Yeah, good call. And I absolutely 100% can't guarantee I didn't have a little Pete when you were getting changed. <sighs> you are full of yourself, do you know that? Yeah, it's been said. And I'm sorry about earlier. I, uh, I think it was the cocktail. It went to me. I'd, I got carried away. Yeah. Well, 
I suppose I have had worse afternoons. I should say so. There you go. Boss, what oh, are you doing? Debs! No, do you know what? You just keep that money. I don't want any of it. Oh, don't be stupid. You don't want this. Listen to me. There will never, ever be anything between us. I love Pete. And if you breathe one word of what we did today to him... What? No, go on. Why would he care? You're only doing me a favour. There's nothing to be jealous of. Get out, Ross. Or is there? Where you are? Just been down to the garage. What are you doing here? Well, I was going to lie, but do you know what? I don't think I can be bothered. Ross? I've got a shed load of cash from Nick and Cars, and I was going to ask Deborah if she'd launder it through the garage for me. You what? Oh, don't worry, she said no. Not like she'd do me any favours. Well, you keep your dirty money away from her. Oh, Pete, it's fine. I sorted it. Yeah, Pete, it's fine. She sorted it. My mistake. I'll see myself out. Yeah, it's a good idea. Well, if you've been affected by Alicia's story, you can find details of your nearest rape crisis services at rapecrisis.org.uk. Alternatively, call 0808 802 9999 any day between 12 and 2.30 and 7 and 9.30pm to speak confidentially to a trained worker. Calls are free from UK landlines and mobiles.